What's up, everybody? It's Real Cool Adventures. We are back and we are live with the stealth cam. This is before a hurricane. I put out a trail camera in some really thick marsh area and I just decided to take a chance and kind of go off the path a little bit because I see the bushes pushed down all the time. I figured we're going to try something different and maybe see what's going around the main areas. Maybe we can catch something a little different other than a deer, otter, beaver, whatever. And this spot here is probably the snake, most snake infested spot I've ever been into. Hopefully, I mean, I, of course I want to find something here, but I really don't want to put the camera back in this area because it rained and the water was up really high and there's literally moccasins every 10 feet. So we might even find some snakes on this video, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, we got wind. Oh, little baby crow. Some type of falcon. Did you see that? I don't know. High-speed falcon or, or a little whistling duck. I also, I put the camera really low because a couple times I put it up high and all I got was the back of an animal and that's driving me nuts. So this time I took a chance and I put it down low. Let's see what's here. Maybe I didn't get low enough. I see something wiggling down low. Oh, there's a snake. Oh, nope, that's a bird. Oh, there's another bird. This place is infested with birds. So the wind was blowing really hard this week and it was literally a tropical storm. Ooh, there it is, something's moving. Something's moving in the bottom right-hand corner. I'm assuming that I have no idea what it is. Uh, but that's part of the game. I, oh, that might have been the wind that triggered it. Oh, here comes some birds coming back, coming in hot. Oh, and they're gone. Now let's see, let's see if we get another image. Oh, there goes another one, butterfly. The birds really, maybe they thought this thing was like a bird's nest. Let's see what we can find here. Ooh, there we go. We got a skunk. Or is that a raccoon? I don't know what that is. Some type of hedgehog? What is it? A trash panda? That's a nice, nice raccoon. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, cool. Okay. I didn't expect to see that guy hanging out. A little photo opportunity. There's a little wart. It's a wart-nosed trash panda. Kind of cool though. Look at him lick a little lip licker. I've actually, a couple times I've had these, a lot of the animals, sometimes I go fishing when I'm out there and I think that when I catch fish and I touch the camera, I think they actually smell the fish on my hands. That's the only thing I can come up with of why this always happens. But he's just hanging out. There's actually a pond. In the oh, nice, a deer. I didn't even know there's deer there. Ooh, that's a nice big buck. It's gotta be a, it looks like a devil buck. Now that's a nice Florida deer. Um, a Florida deer actually only live to be about four and a half to five years old. Unless they're in captivity, they can live like double that length. Uh, but that is a giant spike, which almost looks like a key deer too. Oh no, is that a four point? I see this a little second bump. So you, the way you count them is all those little bumps on the top. The more bumps, are, the more spikes that it has. So that's, that right there is like a three point from the angle I'm looking at. Um, maybe you can see it better. I'm looking at a little monitor. So that's a nice big spike, which is cool to see there. And that deer, I'm surprised he's not wet because in order to get where this is, there's a pond to the right, a pond to the left, and a pond behind it. So he either lives in that really thick stuff or he's looking at us. Kind of looks like a gazelle. Hmm. That's cool though. All right, now we got moving twigs, maybe like some type of beetle or something. See the water, and I don't know if you can see in this, dripping down to the right-hand side, those little minnows. This is literally in a swamp. I mean, this is like the Everglades swamp. It's where people can take airboats. That's how, to give you a perspective of what the uh, conditions are like. Now, nothing moving there. Big old bug. The uh, Florida state bird, which is actually a mosquito just flew by. That's how big mosquitoes are there. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, cool. There's Bambi. Is that the same deer? No. Oh, look at that. That's a nice little doe. Has some type of weird thing growth on its butt. You see that? What is that? Ew. Maybe the bird bombed it or something. That's cool though. Uh, so what's that? Two deer, a raccoon. Look how they eat. I always wondered what they're doing. I've seen them a few times around this area. 
I wondered what they eat in there because when you go in there, it looks like there's absolutely nothing edible, but apparently there is. And another thing, when a deer, when a white-tailed deer flashes its tail and gives that, if it puts its tail straight up, that means there's danger. So if you're ever around a deer and you actually take a white handkerchief and you're in a field, you can go into a field and shake a white handkerchief. And if there's any deer in there, it'll flush them out and they'll jump up. It's a little, we don't recommend you doing that. So she's just grazing in there. Um, is that the same deer? Or is that a different angle? Same deer. Same deer? I, why is she not wet? Oh, did she get shot? Is that a bullet hole in the side? Is that a bullet hole? I think she can hear me through the camera. Look by the back leg. Or is that a stick? You see that spot? Or am I just seeing stuff? That's so weird how... I wonder if she can see, they can see the reflection on this thing. Yeah, it sees it. They all look right at it. And that's, oh, maybe it makes a noise when it goes off, maybe. Cool. So what is that? Two different deer? Is it? Yeah, two different deer. Although that one doesn't have that big thing on its butt. Ooh, there's a three point. He's back. See how he's gonna? He's gotta be wet. Oh, he looks dry. Ooh, it looks like a goat. It's kind of cool. Ooh, is that another deer? Oh, that's the same deer. That is cool. Look at the lesions on his ears. I don't want somebody to get his ear pierced. Looks like he's got his ear pierced on that one. Look at his eyes. Looks like he's got some type of weird skin disease. Cool though. Let's see, I just don't understand why he's not all wet. That's just weird to me. All right, cool. Well, I wonder if that's it. Are there any more pictures left? Oh, he's back. This guy's like zigzagging. There's really nowhere for him to go. It's almost like an island. There's little. Swamp Peninsula. Oh, sick! What is that? A house cat? Look at a collar. Is that a lynx? It's a bobcat. Oh, it's a. Oh, can we go backwards a little bit? That thing had some gems. Look at the size of that. That's a. Do you think that's a male or a female? Leave it in the comments below. Um, because I think it's a male. I don't think there's anybody that can dispute that. And if it's a male, just so you know, a male bobcat actually will cover up to 30 square miles in a day. Females will actually go about five square miles. And that thing right there looks like it's dragging something and it doubt that thing is gonna go 10 miles. But nevertheless, that's cool. He, he's uh, definitely one hung kitty. What would that thing do you if you ran into it? I don't, I, I've seen a lot of bobcats in this area and I can never get close to them. They take off. So if you've got kids and stuff, don't think that that thing is going to attack you. The only way I think that thing would come after you is maybe if there was a female and she had cubs or if they had, um, what's it called, rabies. But that doesn't look like she has rabies. His mouth is nice and clean. It's not drooling like he ate a bufu frog or anything. Look at his eyes, kind of cool looking too. Speaking of bufu frogs, if you want to learn or think bufu frogs are edible, we just put a video out. It's uh, called Bufu Toad Catch, Clean, and Cook. Um, and they are delicious, and I highly recommend them. They're plentiful down here. Um, okay, so that isn't... Look at the... Okay, so you see those, like, canine-type teeth? They are so sharp. Ooh, is that a different one? Same cat's back. That is cool. All right, so what is that? How many species is that? A deer, a bobcat, and that was only in two days um, leading up to a hurricane. I think these animals can sense the pressure and they actually move. So if you like this, go ahead and uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next adventure. So this is actually me wading into this area. And as you can see, that stuff is loaded with rattlesnakes and moccasins, even though you can't see them there. I didn't know the camera was on there, but at least that shows you a little bit of the habitat and what's in there and how camouflage it is. All right, we well, hope you enjoyed this.